Beauty fam. It's your girl princess. I hope everybody's having an amazing day. Today I have on an apron and I'm in the kitchen so that means I am cooking. And what I will be cooking today are these Beyond Meat, the Beyond Burger. It's plant-based burger patties. It's soy free, gluten free, and no GMOs. Okay. And it's 20 grams of plant protein per serving and I'm just going to show you the nutrition facts on the back okay just put it in a little bit closer so you can see that all right and these are the ingredients T fam now T fam I am I'm not fully vegetarian or vegan but I do not eat any other type of meat other than seafood and fish and I'm always looking for other alternatives to meat because I used to eat meat but I don't do it anymore after I started eating healthier um, I just gave that up so to find alternatives for foods that I used to eat oh my goodness I get so excited and this is one of the products that I am so excited to be making today for the tea fam yes I've had it before and it's amazing it tastes just like as if you were gonna eat a hamburger Okay, and once again, like I said, these are the Beyond Meat, the Beyond Burger, and it's all plant-based. Now, T-Fam, they say it kind of resembles beef um, hamburgers where when you cook them, and I'll show you because it does, when you cook them, it bleeds. And what that is, all that is, is just beet juice, okay? All right, so we're going to get into making these. I got this at Whole Foods for... $5.99. I usually get it at Whole Foods. I've seen it at another, one more other store, and it was at an organic market in my area. I have not yet to see it in my local supermarket, but if you go to their website, it says um, different locations that they have it, different restaurants that they have it in, and one of the locations was Target. I went to my local Target. They did not have it, T-Fam, but I found it. I always get it at Whole Foods. All right, and it comes just like this. And in Whole Foods, my Whole Foods, is usually where they keep the non-dairy cheese section, okay? And it doesn't come frozen. It comes just like that. It kind of even resembles, let me just hold it up closer. It kind of even resembles a hamburger patty. <laughs> Look at that, T-Fam. And you get two of them. And like I said, it's $5.99. So what I do, I open them up. And I cut them in half, T-Fam. I cut them in half. So that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to open it up. And I'm just going to cut it in half. And then I just cook. So I make four burgers out of it. Mini burgers. Little burgers. But I mean, you can eat the whole burger if you like. But I just, I'm satisfied with just eating half the burger. All right, T-Fam. I'm just going to cut it up. And I'll be right back. Hey, T-Fam. So... I just cut them in half, like I said, and I'm just going to take one out so that you can see it comes in paper. And this is what it looks like, T-Fam. Like I said, it resem resembles a hamburger to the T. <laughs> see? Look at that. So all I do, I just boil it up into like a little meatball. Okay? Or like a patty. And then I just take a Ziploc bag and I just put it in here. Oh, let me show you one more thing, T-Fam. So on the back, it says you can leave it. Hold on a minute. Let's turn around. Yeah. So it has an expiration date on it. Um, how long you can leave it in the refrigerator before you freeze it or you have to use it by this date. If you don't put it in the freezer. But you can put it in the freezer and it lasts longer than that date. Okay. So here's one. All right. I'm just going to sit that right there, T-Fam. And I'm just going to take the other piece. And do the same thing I did. Make it into like a little patty. If you can see that. And put it in the bag. And I have one more. And then I'm going to cook the other half. And then I, I'm going to show you what it looks like cooking. So I'm going to come right back. Hey, T-Fam. So I am back. 
and I cut up all the patties and I have this one that I will be cooking. I'll show it to you once again. Look at that. You can't tell me this doesn't look like a regular hamburger. Okay. And it tastes amazing. And like I said, even if you're not vegan, vegetarian, this is something you should try because it tastes, I don't know if you can try it, see if you can taste the difference. Let me know. Comment down below. Okay. Or comment down below if you ever tried these and what do you think about them? Okay. So I'm just going to, I just sprayed my pan with a little bit of canola oil spray and I'm just going to take the patty and put it in the pan. Okay, T fam. So I'm just going to let it cook and I'll be right back. This is what the Beyond Burger looks like cooking all right let me see if it'll bleed for us look at that it looks just like a hamburger so i just wanted to show you that tea fam and i'll be right back look at this tea fam look at it look at it. you can see like like i said it resembles like the blood that comes from a hamburger but it's just beet juice. That's it. Because like I said, this is made with all plant-based ingredients. All right, T-Fam. I just wanted to show you that. T-Fam, I just wanted to show you. Look at it. It's kind of hot. Look at that. All right, T-Fam. So I'm going to take it out of the pot. And I just have some red onions that I cut up. And you can use whatever you want, lettuce, onions, tomatoes. I'm just using some red onions. I'm just going to take the burger out, place it to the side, and I'm going to cook the onions in the same pot that I cook the burger in. Okay, so I'm going to just spray the pan again. And then I'm just going to put the onions in the pan to cook i love red onions oh my goodness they are my favorite so i'm just gonna put all of these in here and cook it up and i'll be right back tea fam hey tea fam this is what my beyond burger looks like and i just topped it off with the onions that i sauteed in the pan if you can see i just use regular bread but if you have hamburger rolls feel free to use hamburger rolls like I said, I just used regular bread because this is what I had on hand. Okay, T fam, but look at that. You can't tell me. And then this is what I'm about to top it off with. I have my vegan spread and dressing. Okay, so this is my vegan mayonnaise. And I'm just going to take a little bit of this. Okay, and I'm going to put it on my burger. This is how I like to eat my burgers with mayo. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of mustard. I have a pack of mustard. I got this from Whole Foods. I get them from Whole Foods and I just keep them for when I need them. Because they're portable. You could take them with you. So I just like to keep them on hand. Okay. So, T fam, let me show you once again what my burger looks like. So, I just mix it all in together. And look, T fam. All right. T fam, so this is what my burger looks like with the bread, the onions, and the mustard. I'm going to take a bite, T fam. We're going to try this together. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. Look at that, tea fam. Look at that. Mmm. This is so tasty, tea fam. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. All right, T-Fam. So this is the Beyond Meat 
the Beyond Burger. You have to go out and try it. You won't be disappointed. Very tasty, very good. On that note, team fam, I'm going to go finish my burger. And I hope everyone's having an amazing day. Be blessed. Bye.